everybody. Hello. Um, Amanda here from PB, and I'm here with Liz McEwen. Um, so some of you will already know her before. She's a beauty business consultant, um, a PB London veteran. Um, and we're just going to be talking today about ways that you can increase revenue in your salon business. So Liz, what are some kind of simple tips that people can do to actually increase revenue without giving themselves loads of hard work? Well, first of all, it's not hard work. <laughs> it actually isn't hard work and um, people lose sales all the time because I'm in salons mm. everywhere all week every week and it's actually really hard to get people to to sell you things they yeah don't, they don't want to sell you services and they don't want to sell you products so I think everybody needs to just get out of their own way and tell us what we need as customers and mm. then we decide whether we want it or not yeah so just give us the advice give us the information and then we'll decide whether we want it do you think it's a confidence issue as well? It's a concentration issue, first of all. Mm. Um, because therapists don't like silence, so they're inclined to talk, and sometimes they talk about the wrong things. Right. Yeah. So when I'm working in the salon, I have a little 50-50 rule. So talk to me about the professional advice and information, first of all, and then we can have a chat Yeah. about personal things or TV or, or whatever. So I think if the chat is more about... The services that go on in the salon and the products that I can buy and the results that I'm going to get and all the services that go on and the patch tests I could get done. Mm. Talk to me about all of that. Then I'm going to buy. Then I'm going to spend more money. Mm. Yeah. And what are some of the biggest mistakes you think people make mm. when trying to increase revenue? Going for the big things. Okay. Like little things can make a big difference. So sometimes I say to salon owners, you know, a small little change if you're consistent with it can have enormous benefit in your cash flow. So sometimes I think Say, for example, if you had 100 clients in last week and every single client spent an extra £10, mm. that's an extra 52000 yeah. in the year. And that makes a big difference mm. to someone's bottom line. You could pay your loans, you could pay your bills, you could buy a new car, you could go on your mm. So that makes a big difference. So small changes can have a huge difference. Yeah. Rather than people terrifying themselves and going for the big things. Mm. Yeah. And Liz is going to be talking about this topic in way more detail at Professional Beauty London next year, um, which is actually happening in March, 29th to 30th, so put that in your calendar. Liz, for anybody who's going to be coming to the show, you know, what would be your synopsis of your talk? What can people expect? You know, if you're going to tease them in, get them in. <laughs> this is not to be missed. <laughs> popular demand to talk about the subject called fast track to the money mm -hmm. people make the money a lot more complicated than it actually is i have five little things that i just talk about and if you can work with me through the five things your money is just going to change and if your money changes your whole life changes mm. um i don't know very many salon owners who sleep well if their money isn't right mm. so the money is actually really important so come and join me we have competitions we have all sorts of things yeah. um going mm. on so yeah really looking forward to london Oh, well, thank you for your time, Liz. My and pleasure. yeah, like I said, Liz will be at London and we will be promoing her talk a lot more at the start of the year. But if you do have any other questions for her, DM us and we will get you an answer. But otherwise, we will see you next week. Thank you, everyone.